I'll be quiet. Can you Photoshop uh, my face? No, I can't. You're not even on it. What do you, for someone who's so not willing, ignore them? Okay, Rhonda, this, oh, yeah, it's all right. Don't worry. Okay, let me introduce this before we start, Rhonda. This is the world's first haircut, start to finish, on Google Glass. Yes, you are seeing it live. It's coming to you from Innovations on 14th Street in Charlottesville. Charlottesville's finest hairstylist, Rhonda Hubbard, is going to be administering the coup de gras, as it were. Get the plan words, coup de gras. All right, here's how it's going down. This haircut is going to be broadcast in real time, live, start to finish with all stories and anecdotes that guys talk about with their hairdressers that no one must ever hear. So don't you say a word about what you hear on this video. It's now, it's only Joe that talks like that. Yes, it's only me. Now, um, Rhonda was very, very kind to consent to this because my dentist, whose name I will not use here yesterday, refused to allow me to film him doing a filling because he said, if I screw up, then you'll sue me. And I said, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. I need to start cutting while you're talking. No, 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 no. One more. Give me 30 seconds more of introduction. Linda, will you please stay out of the frame? Linda, who says she doesn't want to be on the Internet and doesn't want her face seen, keeps poking her head in to see what's going on. What is that about? Anyway. I keep poking to look in the eye to tell you something. Yeah, well, I'm broadcasting. This is I'm live. I'm, Kyle, this is live TV. You don't come in from backstage and just say, poke your head in to tell stuff. That's not how it works on TV. This is real, real TV here. Okay. I'm going for a major haircut. I haven't been here in six months. I let my hair grow long starting in March to hide Google Glass so people wouldn't notice I had it on. I no longer care. I'm out of the closet. I am free. And therefore, we are going short today. Short, 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 short. As short as possible without a crew cut. And Rhonda, you know I have an issue with my sides of my head. I'd like you to leave fullness on the sides, if you could, please, more than you would normally do. Otherwise, go to it, baby. All right. All right. At some point, these will be taken off because I have to cut around the ear. I understand. I understand. This is so cool. Rhonda, I'm watching you cut my hair through glass, and so are thousands of people around the world. They cannot believe this is really happening. What Joe failed to mention is uh, because I'm allowing this, he's going to buy me one of these gadgets. That's true. That's true. Everybody heard that. Next year, when it comes out, the commercial version, which will be at least usable by a normal person, which this one is barely usable by me, um, I'm going to get Rhonda her own, very own pair of Google Glass. So when she goes to New York with Linda next time, there won't be the fiasco that I just heard about. But I digress. Rhonda, you are looking so cute today. What a perfect day to have you doing my hair. I know you don't feel well. I know you got bronchitis. I know you just got back from a week in New York. But you looking good, girl. Not quite a week, but thank you so much. Yeah, you're and welcome. Of course, Joe, you look as smashing as ever. Yeah, well, for Medicare, I'm not that bad. Okay. Joe is always full of himself. Always has funny jokes to tell. Tell Rhonda, tell our audience how long you've been cutting my hair. How many years? So long that I actually don't remember anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The first time I cut Joe's hair, I asked if I was going to have to pay him to stay away. Yeah. For some reason, he loved that, and he's been coming back ever since. Yeah, I can't stay away. Rhonda's like catnip, man. Once she gets inside your brain, you can't not be here. Also, she offers a special rate to anyone who comes in and mentions this video and says that's why they came in to get a haircut. Right, Rhonda? We can work on that. Okay. <laughs> Joe's taking over here like he always does. Yeah, that's right. He thinks he does. But as Joe well knows, I can keep up with the best of them. That's right. There's nothing he can throw at me that I can't throw back. That is so true. Rhonda can go mano a mano with me as few people on the planet can. That's why we get along. That's right. Years. That's right. We are best buddies. Here's a fun fact that our viewers may not know, Rhonda, that about five years ago, you agreed to do my hair while I was in my coffin for the presentation and the observation of all the bereaved family. Remember you said you would do that? This is true, but it's been much more than five years ago we agreed upon this. Well, you still agree, right? Yeah. Okay. And at my age now, this may be that haircut. Because, you know, we're such good buddies and he was going to pay me handsomely for it. It's in my will. It's, he said it's in my will. I've never seen it, but he said it's Oh, it's in my will. It's a codicil. 
that please pay Rhonda Hubbard $250 in old small bills for the haircut before I'm laid out. Is that all? What? You want more now? You didn't tell me how much you're going to pay. I'm visiting the lawyer next year for a revision. You want 500 You know, you got to realize all the haircuts that I'll be doing. Okay, 1000 a 1000 a thousand for the coup de gras after death. Yeah. Will you do it for a thousand? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Everyone's got their price, don't they, Rhonda? Normally, I would charge people more, but for you, Joe, I guess a thousand will work. Cool. And you know, the best part is I won't move. No, but I'll have to have people help me move. <laughs> you. So, having said that, uh -oh. I believe that's going to up the price right there. Uh oh. We'll have to talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that before I visit the lawyer. You're enjoying this more than you thought you would, aren't you, Rhonda? I'm not even paying attention to what we're really doing. I'm just paying attention to cutting your hair. That's as it should be, man. I don't want an anesthesiologist who's bantering with me, man. I want him watching my gas dials. But I do need to cut around your ears. Well, so. tell me when it's time, and I'll remove. I'll hold them, and I'll hold them so that we can. I'll hold them in front. Sure. Duh. There. Blondie's not so dumb. Blondie's all. not so dumb. She said it. You heard it. Not me. Blondie's not so dumb. I love it. I can't make fun of myself. I don't know, but this is so great. I'm a true blonde. You I, are. I admit it. You are. You're the best. Even your jewelry matches your hair. Look at you. I use that excuse every day of my life. and It's worked so far. If I stop using it, somebody... You know who's going to be so jealous of you? Get me help. Your daughter's going to be so jealous when she sees that you got to be on TV and we're a star and she's not in it. She's going to be so jealous of you. Now, because I'm a computer dummy... Yeah. You say we're going to be on TV. Yeah. But are we Book talking, of Joe TV. Are we talking more like YouTube or well, yeah. the internet in general? Well, here's how it's going to go down. The video that I'm recording currently is being recorded in this device, in this glass. It's a computer. When I get home, I'm going to upload it to the internet. Mm -hmm. From the internet, I'm going to then upload it to YouTube. YouTube will then enhance the video, it'll stabilize it, it will fix the lighting, and it'll make it extremely watchable. I mean, the difference between what YouTube does before they get the raw video and what it'll do afterward with its computers is night and day, okay? Okay. So you'll have to give me the info how to find this. Oh, no, you won't have to worry because, tilt my head down, and what's going to happen is this. I'm going to then take it from YouTube and put it on my blog. And it'll appear in my 4.01 a.m. daily slot, which is devoted to Google, Google Glass videos. I will tomorrow I will tomorrow send you a link to the video and the post in the blog. You can just click play, and there you will be full screen, beautiful, doing your thing. And the whole world will see that. So is that going to be on YouTube and your blog? Yes. Because I get emails on your blog all the time. Well, then you'll be able to see it too. I know you want to be in this, Linda, and I will get you in at the no, end. No, I don't want to be in this again. Okay. <laughs> Not unless you're going to Photoshop my chin. Oh, stop. You look beautiful. He already told you know, me I need, I need a today. facelift before you put it on YouTube. Linda is very self-deprecating. Linda is Rhonda's homie. She is her, um, basically, best buddy and co-worker, and the two of them run this place. She's the owner Now, tell the, the truth, Rhonda, about the salon. She's the owner on the box. I was already working here when she bought the salon. Told and her she decided is... she didn't like me. She'd have to burn the building down to get rid of me because I wasn't going anywhere. Rhonda, let me just make sure that this is actually going on camera. Stop cutting for just a sec, please. Sorry. Let me just look. No, it's okay. I just want to make sure that our... Oh, it's excellent, excellent. Okay, keep going. You're great. You're great. I hope you're great. Tell me when I can put them back on, though, because then I can aim it much better. See, because this is really meant to be worn right above the eye so you can see what you're filming. From here, I'm sort of taking a guess, and I'm hoping that I'm getting what I'm thinking I'm getting. But I think it's doing pretty good. You do? You think I'm okay? Because I think uh, you know what you're doing. I don't know that much. This is week five that I've had this. Okay. I remember last time you were here. Can you show us something about that? This is so much fun. Because we wanted to nab it and take it to this New York. New York, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord only knows we needed it. Huh? Yeah. Next year you'll have it. I just want this to start changing. Okay, put them on. Yay. Okay, we're good. I'm good
mister here with a little water. Okay, do you want to get this wet? Oh. This does not want to be wet. Unfortunately. Okay. Our air conditioner is on the today. Okay, well, thank God it's not 100, huh? Exactly. Yeah. But hopefully it will be fixed tomorrow. We do have a family. So we are working under some pressure. Yeah, you're, you seem as chill as ever. What Joe didn't mention to everybody is why the tapes were paper taken. That's true. That's why this is truly so, an epic recording. Rhonda does not even like her picture taken, and she's letting me make a movie. Jesus. What I haven't told Joe is this haircut's going to cost him a lot more than it normally does. Whoa. Whoa. Mamma mia. And it's only fair since it's been six months since he's been in here. That's true. I should be paying for all the ones I didn't get. Yeah, so everybody heard it. You know, there's a lot of people who are going to call me on this stuff. So great, Rhonda. You're looking so good. You mean you are? No, you, man. You really focused. I like how you just... You are getting transformed. I know. I'm just like... This is probably the most radical cut I've had in a while, right? It is indeed. Not that we haven't gone short before. No, but we've never gone short from this length. We've never gone this long without a haircut. But remember, leave extra bulk on the sides. I did. Okay. I am done with this now. Okay. I'm going to pull out my clippers and get rid of your fuzzy neck. Okay. Might have to use this around here. Okay, tell me if you do, and then I'll take it off. Okay. Because it'll be easier, I think, than having it be jarred and stuff like that. And you won't get as good precision. I want to get the best cut possible, so tell me when to take it off. I want nothing to interfere with your masterful reach. You can tell